Welcome to the channel, everybody. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share some of these videos. A lot more content to come, and thank you guys for joining me on my journey. Let's go. So if you guys saw my last video, you guys know I purchased a 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat. It's my first Mopar car and I'm super excited. The car is actually gone right now. I'm getting some service done to it. So stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully by this weekend, I'll be able to get it back and uh, I'll show you guys the reveal of what, what I got done to it. So with that being said, one of the first things I always see of, you know, everyone when they purchase their vehicles or they, you know, switch to a new car, is they talk about what their deal was for purchasing that vehicle. So today what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you guys the window sticker. Uh, we're gonna go through it and then I'm gonna show you how much I paid for the vehicle, what my APR is and what my payments are. So we're gonna go through all that today um, and first let's start off with the window sticker. So before I go into the window sticker actually, I wanna talk about the fact that um, I did order this vehicle so on the window sticker, you will see that it, the, the vehicle say it, it is specifically built for, my, for me. So that's a pretty cool thing to see on the window sticker. And let's go on over to the left side of the window sticker. So you can see it's a 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat wide body. So the base price of this car is $70,570. So, and the basic standard equipment, um, you guys can see that listed below. And then I'll just kind of go over some of the options that, that I added to the vehicle. So I did go with the uh, carbon suede and um, interior. So that was 1595. I really think that carbon fiber makes it look a little better than just that dark silver grayish that's in there um, and then the suede I think it'll just it just caps off to make the interior look a little bit more upscale so as you know Dodge Chargers they're kind of basic with their interiors so th I think that the suede does add a little bit more you know to the value of the car um, I didn't go with a sunroof because I I'm not a believer in sunroofs I never ever open them unless it's like in a SUV or something bigger so I did go with the Harman Kardon audio group, which is the 19 speakers and the amp. Uh, it's a very great system. I actually don't know what the standard system is, but this system is excellent. Um, it has a lot of bass and I'm really impressed with the, the sound quality. And then I did go with the red seat belts. You see that is a $395 option. Like I mentioned before in my last video, I feel like those red seat belts really make the interior and it, it kind of makes you know it's a Hellcat. And then of course, the infamous gas guzzler tax, uh, $2,100, that's you know, not an option you want to have, but obviously it comes with the car because it's obviously not great on gas or the environment. So um, this is a, a governed tax imp imposed onto the car. So, and then the destination charge was $1,495. So the total MSRP was $78,150. Uh, so that's what the, the actual price of the car is. And then we'll look over to the right side and you'll just see the generic, you know, fuel economy. As you can tell, horrible on gas and emissions. But uh, yeah. So how much did I pay for this car? So first off, I wanna talk about the fact that I didn't trade another vehicle for this car. Um, I sold my 2020 or 2019 Mustang GT in May. I sold it for $40,000 to a Ford dealership. I owed 33,000. So I ended up getting back $7,000 um, from that deal. And then basically not having a car payment for the last 
two months I paid about seven hundred dollars a month for the Mustang so you figured that three months of payments that I wasn't paying because I didn't pay May uh, May June and then July so that's twenty one hundred bucks so I ended up you know saving from that nine thousand one hundred dollars so um, that that'll kind of go into my deal later all right so now let's go into the financials so like I mentioned before the vehicle was seventy eight thousand one hundred and fifty now here in the state of Washington taxes are extremely high I don't know how it is in your state um, but I got this in Tacoma and it was 10.2 percent tax so just with the tax alone sales tax it was seven thousand nine hundred and seventy one dollars and then we have a documentary fee service fee 150 bucks and then we had the tax title or the licensing fee which was hundred seventy one hundred seventy four dollars and then I did get one option which was gap so I got gap usually I don't get gap um, but I got it with this vehicle just to be safe it was a uh, 950 bucks for the life of the loan so I think that was a pretty good deal so altogether tax title license and gap everything was nine thousand four hundred and seventy five dollars so that's how much all the taxes were now how much did I put down on the vehicle so like I mentioned before with the deal off of the Mustang and how much I've been saving I put nine thousand dollars down and then I got a five hundred dollar like customer rebate so when I first ordered this vehicle the power dollars or whatever it was called at the time now it's called super power deal um, but the power dollars were four thousand dollar rebate in May it started going down it started going to two thousand then in June two thousand and currently right now we're sitting at two thousand dollar rebate or I could go with the zero interest 72 months um, those are for qualified buyers only um, they have to you know run your credit and and you know you need to meet the qualifications for that so I already had I didn't actually go get a loan but I had a loan that um, I had on standby that I knew I would get approved for and I knew what rate I would get so what I did do is I did go through Chrysler Capital just to see if I qualified for the zero interest in 72 months and I did so that's what I got so I got zero interest on this vehicle for 72 months and I financed it for seven thousand I mean seventy eight thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars so twenty five dollars less than what the MSRP says is what my final outdoor price was and my payments are one thousand and eighty five dollars a month now I know that might be a lot of money for some of you um, personally uh, you know I don't want to put all my business out there but I have no debt and this vehicle is you know something that I've wanted for a while I just waited for the right time and I think right now for me is the right time um, so I went and I and I purchased the vehicle you know so zero interest so the zero interest loan to me I'm not saying it's free money but if you look at even the the lowest loan that I could have got for 72 months it was the lowest APR was 2.29% and if you look at the finance charge at the end of the loan how much it would be it was almost six thousand dollars for the life of the loan so over the life of any even low interest loan you know if, if you got something at four percent three percent it's going to be seven thousand you know dollars or so for the life of the loan and my payments would have been twelve hundred thirteen I've seen people with fourteen hundred dollar payments so at a thousand eighty five yes it's a lot of money um, but it's something that's not going to hurt my family or myself so I went with it and I, I feel like I got a great deal so that's basically it when it comes to talking about you know the financials of the vehicle and how much I paid for it um, insurance wise so insurance 
so previously since I only had the one vehicle um, my insurance went down but I'm just gonna go off and replay it back from when I had the Mustang so m my wife and myself we both have our insurance together and she has a 2018 uh, Ford F-150 and I used to have my Mustang and we pay semi-monthly and what we used to pay was $98 semi-monthly so about almost $200 a month my current insurance payments with the Charger Hellcat now is $120 semi-monthly so basically my car insurance went up $40 compared to when I had the Mustang so we pay um, 240 bucks for both vehicles full coverage towing everything included um, rental and and everything um, for for both vehicles so my insurance didn't drastically go up I have a very clean driving record so that obviously helps and being old as dirt kind of helps too so uh, that's basically it um, if you guys have any questions feel free to drop a comment I'm very responsive I'll get back with you I could kind of go more in depth into some of the processes and some of the things uh, the do's and the don'ts at the dealerships and stuff like that so feel free to send me a message and I, I will get back to you and then if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, I greatly appreciate it uh, drop a comment like share the videos and that's it so more to come I'll see you guys soon remember Stay tuned, stay safe, stay blessed everyone.